Welcome to this meeting of the full Town Council of Tuesday the 18th of April. I need to remind everybody that we are now recording. Apologies for absence. Um, I've had apologies from Councillor Fuller, Councillor Best and Councillor Humphreys and they are all aware of it. <coughs> so do we accept these apologies for absence? Declarations of interest to receive and consider any declarations of interest from members and officers under Section 50 of the Local Government Act 2000, Standing Order 35. This requirement applies only in respect of matters which are to be considered by the Council at this meeting. To declare any disclosable pecuniary interest. To declare any other interests. To consider any request for dispensation. To report any gifts or hospitality accepted over the value of £50. To report any inappropriate gifts or hospitality offered. No, no responses to those. So we come to minutes of previous meetings, full council. If you could just have a look at your 21st of March minutes, please, those people in the present. I'm happy to propose them there. Okay. Do you want to read the proposition? Just well, just that we okay. Can we have a seconder, please? All those in favour, please indicate. Thank you very much. Mr. Peel, were you... Did you indicate? Did you vote? Yes, I did. Yes, sorry. I'm proposing. <laughs> couldn't quite see your eye. Sorry about that. I think, of course you did. There's my deliberate mistake. Public participation from interested parties or members of the public. I'm now going to read a statement regarding our recent employment matters. And it goes as follows. Amber Town Council is pleased to announce that a settlement has been agreed with its former town clerk and responsible financial officer, Miss Deborah Harper, following her termination of her employment on the 4th of July 2016. Both the Council and Ms Harper have agreed that the terms of their settlement must remain strictly confidential and therefore no further information will be given and no questions will be taken in relation to the settlement. Our Town Council wishes to acknowledge that the information and answers given by councillors at the 2016 Annual Town Meeting may have inter been interpreted by some of those present as damaging the reputation of the former clerk. This was never the councillor's nor the council's intention. And that is the statement agreed by both parties. So now we come to consideration or request from interested parties. Okay. Nothing that's come in. Reports. The mayor's report. Um, I haven't done it. I'm, d I'm doing it for the next meeting. Okay. Please report. Um, and I have apologies first from Sergeant Mitchinson, who wasn't able to come due to yeah, other duties. Yeah, due to duties, because he, he thrown me in the, the deep end. Um, the, the last meeting, it was mentioned that the gentleman was being looked into for ASB issues. He's now been charged and is going through the due process with that. Um, usual complaints about speeding coming in. Um, which we are telling people we try to do what we can, but our hands are tied as it's such at the moment. <coughs> we do have um, our cross borders team do have new officers on board now from Leicestershire, Cambridgeshire, so they're almost back up to to full strength now. Um, and some of them are, are doing the late shift tonight. Some are just starting, so they'll be heading out and about. Other than that, um, the usual stuff. Waitrose, yep, still having issues there. Um, a 
early hours of the morning, late at night, um, just the usual shoplifting and, and breakings. Um, other than that, everything seems to be going through relatively smoothly as they can be. Okay, thank you. Anybody want to ask or make comments? Or? I'd like to ask, you say you're sort of trying to do your best on speeding. I've never seen any speed cameras for the last six to nine months anywhere in Elmdor. We have been out with a speed gun. Unfortunately, due to the, the lack of numbers now in the areas we're having to cover, mm -hmm. we, we can't guarantee we're going to be out all the time. We have such a speed watch and some of you people have been out speed band yourselves. We've spoken to the Safe Roads team and identified a couple of areas where they can bring their van in, um, put the van out. Um, mm. So we are. Where are those? Right. One will be Glathorn Road and the other uh, Benfield Road. Where? That's down to them. We, oh. they, they no, the only reason I ask is because I mean I, I live just off of Benfield. Right? Yeah. And uh, you know, nobody slows down when they're coming in, and they speed up when they're going out. I mean, you know, there was a van tonight. It must have been doing at least fifty. Yeah. Coming out of Oundle. Yeah. The problem being, we're the same as you, as you guys, especially so. If we can, we can go out with the guns. If we catch them with the guns, we can just send a letter. We need officers with us. Mm. Um, with the way that the force is set up now. Um, that's going to be tricky. So it's all been passed on to the South <coughs> Roads team who specialise in that with their vans and, and other trickery. So hopefully they should start coming out now we've identified areas they can go. Okay. 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 No, it's the radio from... Uh, oh, it's it's the voice your radio. The voice is in my head, sorry. Well, it comes along. <laughs> New radios won't switch off, so I can't. Okay. Um, anything else? Anything else? Report, no. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, okay. Do you mind if I am? No, thank you. Who, who would like to do the signing of the scene? We haven't got a district council. No, no. So. <coughs> we just note with regret that there isn't a district council present. Yes. I did have apologies from one, but the other two I didn't. I'll do something this evening. Okay, on, thank it. you very much. Uh, any two councillors and the proper officer may seal any document required by law to be issued under seal on behalf of the council. All those in favour? Councillor, we've got seconded. a seconder. I'll second it. Those in favour? Thank you. Town Matters, to receive an update on the plans for the annual town meeting. Um, yeah, this is just to say that the uh, agenda has gone out. Um, everybody has been invited. Um, and we've done as much as we can from, from our end. But it's uh, if you want to have a um, rehearsal or, or go down to the um, Queen Victoria Hall on the day at some point or the day before. Yeah. Then we need to arrange it, but I think with communications, stroke marketing, working party and meeting this week, aren't you? Yes. So, Thirsty. Oh, right, thank you very much, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> so, perhaps you know, be able to discuss it then and finalise any details. Okay, um, but, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and we haven't heard back from everybody. No, um, I have tried to win the school again today, but. Um, yeah. They didn't answer, so we'll try again tomorrow just to confirm the school. Yeah. Okay. Council matters to receive the clerk's monthly report. Um, it was in your pack. <laughs> Is there anything you want to talk us through? Um, well, not really. I just well, I've been on a couple of courses. Um, there's a bit of information in there about them. Um, just some things that were done from the actions from the previous meeting and that's about all really. Um, we have a new member of staff in the hub as we um, lost one of the other ones. Um, Jessica has gone to um, 
pursue her career as a beautician. Right. I knew that she had tears when she left. Hmm. Okay, um, we're working on the Snipe Meadow on the boardwalk. Any more news from Charles at all? Anymore? I haven't had any. Uh, Not anything more, no. Okay, thank you very much. <coughs> to report on the resignation of two councillors. Yes, yeah, since the last full council meeting, um, uh, Michaela Dainter and Stephen Ellis have both resigned, so um, East North Ants have been um, notified and the notice of the vacancies have gone up. And we're just waiting to hear if um, there's going to be any um, call for an election. But there hasn't been for Michaela, and I think the time we've gone past the deadline for that. But we're still waiting for Stephen. So we've got to have one, another election for the two that... Uh, we still have elections for the two, that the previous, the previous uh, two. vacancies, but these two um, currently not on. Not yeah. Looking like they won't be on an election, which is... a better for us really, otherwise you will be having elections um, nearly every week. <laughs> okay, to report on the procedure for election of the Mayor of the annual, um, the, the annual meeting of the Town Council, that's not the Town meeting, that's the annual meeting of the Council. Uh, shall I just say two words first? Uh, we've decided, the clerk and I, <laughs> uh, it's over for you to discuss that we will continue with the same method that was used for the two previous mayors, I think, mm -hmm. if not three, which is that people will be invited to put themselves forward um, for the job. I would like at some point later for there to be a dialogue about this and find out how other councils do find it's the best way to do it, because all the methods that we've sat and discussed seem to have snags or problems associated with them or difficulties that can arise. So we've decided to do it this way. Uh, at the moment I think we're saying that there will just be a, a date by which people should put themselves forward. Uh, the question is do you want to have pro uh, proposals and seconders or do you want to keep it more simple and just have people proposing themselves? Let's just have a few comments and not too many. I think given the numbers that there are actually of us, it's probably simpler to just invite anybody who is willing to stand to say so. To say so. Mm. Mm. So that means we could actually have, oh, everybody, <laughs> we could actually have, this, how many is here? Oh, two, four, six, seven. We could actually have ten people put their names forward. Well, you could. Mm -hmm. You could. <laughs> And everybody scenario. Yeah. 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 And we then presumably be one vote each. <laughs> and everybody At which vote point for I think under the rules, the existing mayor has a casting vote, which she would then presumably vote for herself. <laughs> At which point the mayor would be stuck there in perpetuity. <laughs> this particular one has no desire to have that to happen yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> I think the only thing I would just say is that we probably ought to have every single councillor's names on ballot papers prepared and those who have actually nominated themselves and those who have nominated themselves <coughs> will be the ones that you tick and we have a private ballot and that's how it should no, be. No, we'd have to have a private ballot. We have a private ballot but we need to be prepared for that. Now, if obviously you've got <coughs> candidates who you know that want to put themselves forward, and I can tell you I'm not going to be one of them, um, then that's a different matter. But the only other thing I'd say is that in, in previous years we had a bit of a mess uh, with ballot papers and stuff, that's all I can yes, say. We have had a few, a bit of a mess. And the easiest way of doing it probably is just to put every, every single councillor's name up and then the, the people, you know, and, and get ready for it. And the people who actually put their names forward would be the only ones you could vote for, and the others mm -hmm. others would be invalid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm saying. It, 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 it's not difficult to do, uh, but I think it's an important part of the procedure to be ready because we have had a bit of a, a couple of fiascos in my term as a councillor um, mm -hmm. with, with dealing with this. Or if you have a deadline for names to be 
put forward. Yep. And obviously, we've got That's fine. anything we've I made. Don't, I don't mind either way, yeah. as, as long as we've got as as know, as sort of proper. In which case, should we agree a deadline to limit? We could do, and I thought we would then just put out a brief email making sure everybody knows exactly how it's going to be done. Mm -hmm. So there's no nobody coming saying at the last minute, oh, I didn't realise all. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the procedure. That says, yeah, I'm happy with that, yeah. personally. Do we want to take up Chelsea Chapel's suggestion that we fix a deadline tonight? Then? Yeah, I'm just looking the um, the meeting's on the 23rd. So... What, of May? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, let's do it for 48 hours' time and then we know where we are. <laughs> We've done that, haven't we? I think that might be a bit tricky to streak out to the more active president. I would prefer a date nearer the time. Oh, yeah, so sorry, I'm not time time to no, We've got people on holiday. Yeah. 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 My yeah. apologies. Yeah. Well, what about the 9th of May? That's 14 days prior to. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that that's 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 to me, that sounds. When's, that's when's the local yeah. elections? Uh, it's the 5th of May, isn't it? It's the Thursday. Well, you've got the general election coming up. Oh, shut up about that. Enjoy it. Um, yes, the local election. I think I the 4th of May. 4th of May. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't, want to be, we don't want to say that we'd be putting anybody off voting on the 4th. Well, or indeed the 8th. Mm. Is it the 8th of June? Seven yes, 8th of June. something. Seven days before the date? Um, okay, so not the 9th then. Yeah, it's the 16th. 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 Then it gives anybody who's going to be away okay. again. Well, I think obviously it's got to go out to the councillors. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. And is that just just names? Just names. Just whoever well, yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to be mayor, basically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they just tick the box, say yes, and if they don't tick the box, that's, that's a, a, a no. Yeah. That's easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I can tell you I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going either. Three, four, so, you know, we can do this by default. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we, we'll wind that one up. We've got yeah. a recent yeah. decision yeah. about how it's going to be done. End of, end of subject. Okay, much more important at the moment to approve the financial management risk assessment. <laughs> this was put to finance committee um, and approved at finance um, for presentation to full council for approval. So it, it comes to you with the blessing of the uh, finance committee. That's okay. fine, I'll, set, I'll propose it. I'll stand with it. Those in favour? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's it, no yep. point, don't have to... Job done, yes. Job done. To approve the internal control policy. Mm. You've, not, you've not got yours in front of you, have you? Um, yes, that again was looked at at the uh, finance meeting and uh, it was agreed that it be presented to full council uh, for your approval. It's in your pack. Uh, you've all had a chance to have a look through it. Again, it comes with the endorsement of finance committee um, if everybody is happy with it yeah. um, proposal I'll second those in favour everybody okay. okay we come now to financial matters financial matters um, we haven't got a bank reconciliation at the moment so um, moving past that um, we've got the balance sheet and the income and expenditure. Um, if I just spend a couple of minutes going through income and expenditure, um, because this is the, the final month of the year, so the year-to-date figures are for the whole year. Um, you'll notice that um, on the incomes, markets are slightly down on the, the budget figure, and we had a very low um, income from the markets actual figure for um, month 12 for March. So um, we finished the year about £1,234 down on budget figure, the projection figure for the markets. Um, the hub 
has finished about 14 and a half grand ahead of where we budgeted for um, at 74,675. Um, and Fletton House rooms, uh, only a couple of thousand down. We've finished almost, almost break even on the rooms, uh, almost, sorry, to budget on the rooms. Um, and I can tell you that when we've looked at the expenditure uh, on the rooms, um, the, um, most of the rooms are now paying their way in Fletton House. So we've made great progress um, on, on getting room bookings. And that's a tribute to the staff who've worked hard to book the rooms and a tribute to people who've been involved in marketing the rooms as well. Um, the <clears throat> the um, other budgetary um, items on income and expenditure, most of the other figures are very, very close to budget. Um, courthouse income is down marginally on budget. But we can now say we've got new tenants moving in as we speak. Mm -hmm. um, we've done some uh, maintenance and decorating the building. We've tidied it all up. We've, uh, we've even built uh, a new kitchen in what was formerly a cupboard um, to give them another small kitchen so they've got extra facilities to share. And um, we're having quite a good run at the moment of people interested in booking uh, leasing, I should say, rooms at Courthouse. This is startup businesses and small businesses. And uh, we are looking to, for this current year, to be at least break even, if not in slight profit. And that is doing extremely well when you consider that we've got two um, amenity <laughs> services there that we charge um, a very low rent. That is, the main one is the museum. And the second one is chat. Um, so when you, when you take that into consideration, um, we're doing very well at the courthouse. Um, we decided earlier, or we decided last year, um, that we wouldn't sell part of the courthouse. We would keep it and try and rent it. We've worked hard at it. Great credit to Hanneke and the office team um, and our agent. And we've got now new tenants and everything looks to be going really well on that front. Um, the only other income figure is our precept. Um, we're looking at this brought forward budget figure and that appears to be section 206 money. We're looking at... Uh, it's also um, uh, money that was uh, given when, the to when we took over the toilets. Um, there was an amount of money given to you by South Vance. Um, it currently stands at 3,000 because I think it was agreed that you'd um, transfer 1,500 pounds a year just to go towards the upkeep of the toilets. Right. That's, that's one of those. That's one of those yeah. bits of 20,000 yeah. that was brought forward. Um, that was a query that was raised at finance. We weren't quite sure what that was all about. Yeah. On the expenditure side, um, on staffing, We've come in um, 68,500 under budget, which I think is, we've done very well there. Um, and um, the expenditure, um, as I say, courthouse expenditure uh, is matched now by income. So um, the courthouse is paying for itself. It's not, it's not, uh, it's an asset that's accumulating in capital value and it's not costing us anything to, to run it. Um, most of the other costs are fairly well in order. We've still got until we break up this figure for Fletton House, break that into its component parts. We've got a strange figure there that uh, we'll be looking at during this current year and presenting that to you in a very different form. Um, they're, they're the main, I think, most of the main items on um, income and expenditure that I really want to go through. Um, you will see that um, we've done away with this business of this crazy thing that we had where we charged the Queen Victoria Hall a management fee for our services of running the, the hall. 
and then we ended up giving them back almost the same amount, an identical amount almost, as a grant um, to help them pay for the hall. Um, what we've done now, rather than just having those transactions crossing backwards and forwards, we've agreed um, in future that we will just make a nominal one pound charge for our management services until we get the Queen Victoria Hall um, commercially viable, um, which we're hoping to do very shortly. Um, we'll make a nominal one pound charge by which we're saying we reserve the right to charge a management charge, but there's little point in charging them and then having to give them a grant to pay for it. Um, moving on down, um, most of the other items are about budget um, throughout, the, uh, throughout the accounts. Um, we finished the year um, just under, just a shade under um, the 600,000 income and expenditure. Um, we had a budget figure of 701,000 um, that was predicted last year for this for, for the year just gone, and so I think we've done very well. We've come in 100,000 inside budget. I think the majority of things have been handled during the year, um, and uh, I think we've handled the um, we've handled the money um, extremely well and uh, managed the council extremely well. Does anybody have any questions hmm? on the income and expenditure? Did we actually clarify the position on the PWB loan interest? Because that seems to be under budget, which looks like there's a payment that should be made that hasn't been sure. Yeah, there is one more payment to yeah, go Yeah, one more payment to go through. Yes. Right. Which hasn't come in yet. So it may end up coming into the wrong year. Yeah. It? It, it, yes, we'll end up paying it in the wrong year. Yeah. Um, So that's, if everybody is happy with the, um, the balance sheet and the income and expenditure, I'd like to propose to you um, that we accept the, the balance sheet and income and expenditure. Also, seconded by Councillor Glenn. Thank you. I'm just looking for the... Um, payments, receipts and payments. Now, um, the clerk has told me that owing to some late changes to the list of payments, it's the usual end of year problem that um, we're suddenly now getting all those last minute bills in relating to the year. Um, the numbers keep changing. Um, so the, the clerk will give us the, yes. the latest figure. Um, we had a a check payment which you probably got um, which was to Blue Moon um, but it was also including a payment for the Wi-Fi in the Queen Victoria Hall um, so uh, we've taken that out and that's going to come out of the Queen Victoria Hall budget not the Town Council budget so the figure um, for check number 9986 is now 16368. I think you've probably got 1000 and something a bit more in that one. Yes. Um, so it brings down the total amount to £36,670.44. Right. Um, and on that, because obviously when the agenda goes out, there's an amount um, that goes on the agenda. We'll need to amend that, but um, I feel that you don't really need to, though there is no reason why you need to have the total amount on the agenda. What you, the best thing to have is to have, to approve payments for March or to approve payments for whatever month, because then obviously any little extra or something that changes that at the last minute, it means that you're not having to amend a figure that's gone out on the agenda. Mm -hmm. um, so, well, as long as the internal auditor is happy with that. that yeah, there's no, um, there's no other council that I know of that puts an amount on the agenda. They normally turn up on the night with a list of payments to so leave it right to the last minute. 
Um, <laughs> change their habits in 30 years. <laughs> so, so, but it, so it just good. means, it just... Um, yeah, that is sensible. Yeah, uh, and it means that you haven't got, because obviously when you've got an agenda that comes out a week before mm. the meeting, yeah, the, you miss all, you've got people sending in bills and then they're waiting until the next month. Particularly yes. when your meetings are later in the month, they're not at the beginning yeah, of the month. Exactly, so. Yeah, exactly, yeah. People are just sending the bills out. Aren't yeah. They? So, yeah. Um, so you have to propose that then, because, well, I, because I would, because I think it's really sensible that we don't have to go marching through a specific numbers. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, you'll always have have the list, and you'll but yeah, and no, you'll no, know no, the time. I understand. But that, that, you'll know it on the night. And we can query things that we think are a bit odd. Mm -hmm. So we'll get that. So, yes. But I, I, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Do, you, do. You, do you want us to make a formal decision? Um, you can do if you like. It's, it wasn't specifically on the agenda for you to make a... Uh, or I might just change the agenda. <laughs> we can, as, well, it's, as it's mine. I think we have perhaps, new finance. We're so we're in I think we <laughs> perhaps ought to agenda that one for the next, for the next, for okay, the next okay. meeting. Yeah, no, start, the, start the new... Yeah, no, no. Yeah. The new year yeah, no, in the right way. Yeah. Entirely sensible. Um, and then we're yeah. we're completely compliant then with yeah, no, no, conduct no, and everything, everything else. Then we're not uh, we're not entirely, bending the rules. Entirely sensible. I've looked through these checks and through the direct debits. Um, there's nothing there unusual. I mean, the big items are the monthly pension payments. Um, there is this one payment for Blue Moon for work they've been doing for us, yeah. uh, which is not, you know, not a regular one. Uh, we've got Clean For Sure there doing their uh, St. Ossif Lane toilet cleaning, uh, two <coughs> and a half grand for that. Uh, looking down amongst the direct debits, um, the other big ones there again is PAYE through our um, agents there. And uh, the... Um, the, the Public Works Loan Board is in there at 3,900, um, which Councillor Chapel was referring to earlier. Um, we've also got um, the um, Swalek uh, gas and electric bill there for £1,192 for Fletton House, uh, St Ossis Courthouse and um, Eastwood Road, so, uh, or East Road. So we've got... Um, the gas and electric there is 11, nearly £1,200 for those sites. Um, the next big one is WPS, that's our insurance brokers, um, £1,280 there, uh, our uh, monthly insurance fee. All the rest of the payments are fairly small and they're all fairly standard stuff. There's nothing, I think, in there that's, um, that's unusual. Just ask, when, when, do our, when does that works loan board run out? It's, well, it's, it's not too long. Courthouse, Courthouse is 2019, I think. Yes. Yeah, it's not yes. long. And so unfortunately, just don't even think about the QPH. Yeah. It's, it's about, about 59. 2059 or something. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, the courthouse one is very. It's, yeah. it's, we're, we're, we're on, on the, the, the edge of on yes. the edge of a cliff on that one. Yeah, just in time for us to start two more. <laughs> <laughs> Which we're doing this year. But they'll be yeah, small yeah. amounts. Very, very yeah, small amounts. I mean, but that's a significant uh, change. Yeah. So, I'd like to propose those payments to you. you just remind us of the figure again. It's £36,670.44. Mm -hmm. Those in favour? Thank you. Thank you. Um, the next financial matter on here is to approve the quote regarding the Legionella control of the water system in Fletton House. Um, over to the clerk for yeah, the background had, on this. Had a, um, uh, people come out who check the water tanks here and they have suggested that we should have um, complete a Legionella risk assessment um, 
clean the cold water storage and disinfect the domestic water services out of hours, test the domestic water services for the presence of Legionella, and test the heating system, which should be done twice a year, um, and advise on any required inhibitor or biocide dosing. Um, the total of which, have I put the total on there? Um, is 1,000. Quick, quick sign. Yeah. Yes, you've got it. Actually, you've all got a copy, haven't you? Um, and I think it's... It screws back, so you've got to add that on. That's yeah. 20%. So I'm, it's about, I'm working it over roughly about <coughs> 1,500. Yeah, I mm -hmm. I think it's the... Uh, I, I mean, obviously, I don't know if you use them for any of the buildings. Actually, it might be slightly more than that. No, it's interesting it's right whether we ought to be considering the same thing at Courthouse, yeah. where we've got tenants in there, mm -hmm. um, and the Queen Victoria Hall. Is it a statutory requirement? Yes. Yeah, Are yeah. there any other statutory requirements? Um, uh, the only one I know of is, um, is the Legionella one, uh, when it comes to water systems. Um, and, I, and I think, I don't know whether the temperatures are checked here on a regular basis, I'd need to ask if... Um, if um, John perhaps looks at that, because I know that um, you do need to do weekly testings of, of, of the heat, you know, temp water temperature. Right. Well, Carl, are you telling us basically this is a... a well, yeah, it's something that we should have done, yeah. So, it is well, a, let's, yeah just, an let's, just walk, well, let's just walk it through. But I don't know, I should, why haven't we got, have we only got one quote? Because this is the company that comes out and checks our water. So as far as I'm aware, I mean, I know you haven't got a contract with them, but these are the ones that, that we use here to come out and check water systems. I don't think they get much of a difference in cost. Um, just whether we ought to be. Can I suggest we perhaps pass it to estates? Yeah, I mean, Although they're okay. going to meet, the next estates meeting is going to be quite a while away now. It's going to be at the end of May, um, because we're now having estates on a different night from planning. But... Um, I think what we need to look at here is possibly looking at more quotes, which I think is where Councillor Glenn is going, that we ought to look across some other companies. And the other thing is we ought to be looking across all our buildings. And I'm sitting here, you know, I mentioned Courthouse, I mentioned <coughs> Queen Victoria Hall. We probably also ought to think about the scouts and guides that we've got down at Joan Strong. We don't yeah. want to be poisoning them either. No. So I think we need to put it to estates and uh, estates to have a look at... Mm. The requirement yeah. for this at all but our buildings. It's a little bit about risk management, and because um, I mean, Legionnaires' disease is not a fear uh, in this country for quite some time, and this is effectively what it's trying to make sure it doesn't happen as a result of. It does happen. You're wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't, I don't mean to say I'm wrong. I'm just saying I'm not aware. That's what I'm saying. I'm not aware. Possibly it does. But we what, obviously got... Got testing. I mean, I've... I've, I've looked at... Well, if we have to have it... Yeah, previous... We don't need to have it. The, the, the changing rooms, we had yeah. to have this done on our yeah. yeah. OK, well, I, I, I don't have a problem with We also did a weekly test on the water as well. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just... I'm can, I, can I ask... I mean, obviously, for instance, uh, do we know if the landlord at Eastwood Road has that the same test? Mm. Because well, I don't really know. Yeah. This is why I think we need to go to estates because we need to think about everywhere we've got, I think. Mm. Mm. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Including the rugby club and the tennis yeah. club. And yeah. the, sports, the sports, the more we think about it, the more places we've got. Yeah. Um, I mean, we might even have water taps down at the cemetery that we need to think about, whether anything's been tested well, there. there. And, and everything down occupation around. Yeah. I, think, I don't exactly. know if it tends to be where you've got... Um, where you're, where you're heating water, mm. it, it's the heat thing that um, well, is the... Well, I can create Legionnaires, please. Mm. It is the, the Legionnaires. Um, mm. So, I mean, I've, I've just a cold water tap, I don't think you've got to worry about it, but... There is a problem with static heating. water, if you've got water that's... Water tanks. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, 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 it haven't it, been... It's entirely down to tanks, that's yeah. what, where it all came from originally, yeah. from, my, from my recollection. Well, what I'm saying is, is it the responsibility that, therefore, the landlord at Eastwood Road, not the council? I think that's one of the things that uh, they will look at in yeah. estates. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, think, I think that's what we need to do is estates will have to write to the landlord 
and ask him what provision he's being mm. he, he's making there, and uh, we'll take it from there. Mm. Seems seems really sensible. Mm, I think that's a really sensible. Yeah. Yeah, really sensible. Okay, good, good approach. Okay. Moving on, the next item on finance is to agree a grant request from Oundle and District Twinning Association um, of £250. And you've got the information in the pack. Does that mean we can have a free holiday? <laughs> <laughs> Will you twinning with Russia next, you wait? <laughs> yeah. St Petersburg. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Can I formally yes. propose it? Because I think we ought to be supporting Twinning. We have for a time. Second we have for a while. But perhaps the next time it appears on an agenda, could we have us to consider a grant request rather than to agree it? Because that kind of looks a bit sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As yeah. if the decision has <laughs> already been made. <laughs> Do you want to say that? I'll say that. Well, well, those in favour? I, no, I, I, I have a minor concern about this um, because. We're just taking a vote. Well, okay. I'll, I'll just say that. Did Neville not vote then? Next year, yeah. Neville. Exactly. Did he abstain? Did you abstain, Neville? Um, I didn't I'm, possibly, I'm possibly voting against, but mm -hmm. I'll, do just, I'll just do an abstain. Okay. Oh, right. You've done. I've done. You've yes. done. Okay. Planning matters. Um, right. Um, I'm sort of two sets of reports here because the planning committee met twice within three days. And the first was the ordinary meeting on the 4th of April, the draft minutes of which have been circulated. And I think particularly astonishing in those sites that would ask people to familiarise themselves with it. The second planning committee meeting was an unusual one, as much as the planning committee invited all other councillors who were able to attend, to attend that meeting. The purpose was to receive a draft of the neighbourhood plan from the neighbourhood plan working group, uh, led by district councillor Stern. And indeed we did receive a draft and we considered it uh, and related issues at that meeting. The conclusion that we came to, and sort of links almost into the next item, is that um, we weren't ready to accept the draft if the form it was presented there and then. We haven't really had it for very long. There were obviously some proofreading issues around it, and there were significant policy issues to consider. So we decided that we would give ourselves a fortnight within which to raise any preliminary issues um, with the neighbourhood plan group uh, and for the planning committee to thereafter consider matters and all councillors who were present at that meeting were invited to basically feed back to myself uh, any views that they may have. Um, since then I've had a brief discussion with the Mayor with regard to the draft. I circulated to the Mayor um, a number of proposed amendments mainly in the form of proofreading but raising certain questions. Um, having discussed that with her tonight, I will circulate that amongst everybody uh, following tonight. Um, there's then effectively uh, a little bit longer for people to come back to me with any thoughts. What I think we will then have to do is that at the planning meeting that's scheduled for the 2nd of May, um, advance warning, this is going to be a long meeting because rather than trying to convene a separate planning meeting, which might actually prove quite complicated with holidays and one thing and another, and with our annual meeting coming up later in the month, uh, my hope is that the planning committee can have a look at that 
on the 2nd of May, with a view to deciding whether to recommend to full council the acceptance of the draft, whether it wants to go back to the um, working group to raise issues with them before putting it to full council. Um, so, effectively, the next time that document is going to be formally considered will be on the 2nd of May, and it is likely to take the form of simply looking at each and every one of the specific policies that are in there to decide whether or not we have any issues around any of them, and if so, what they are, because that will dictate to some degree what happens next. So, um, it's moving forward. Um, there's been a, an enormous amount of work done. The document itself is some 51 pages long, and I must admit that whilst I've gone through those 51 pages in that way, what I haven't done is proofread in the same way the design statement that goes with it. Um, it may well be that councillors will want to make similar points with regard to that document, because the two will be looked at together, but in terms of the public facing document in due course, it will be the draft plan. What is abundantly clear is that there isn't going to be a huge amount that we can actually say about the neighbourhood plan at the annual town meeting, other than the fact that there is a draft document that is now being actively considered and will, when it's ready, be the subject of a presentation to the town. We haven't got even as far as thinking about how that will be done or when it will be done, or even for that matter where it will be done, because it could be done in here or it could be done in the QDA. Um, so that's where we are with the neighbourhood plan as well. Can I ask a question, please? Yes. Um, this upcoming meeting on the 2nd of May, is that going to be for all councillors to attend, or just members of the planning committee? The plan would be that this would just be for the members of the planning committee, because it will be part of the ordinary planning committee meeting for that night. And the intention is that the, <coughs> the spade work will be done in that committee. That committee will then come to full council with a recommendation which may come to the May full council meeting. It may be that if it does come to the May full council meeting and people want a significant debate about it, it may be that that will have to be the subject of a special full council meeting. But I think it's too early to say exactly yet how that's going to happen. Can I just ask a question? <coughs> if you can't, please. It's a, a meeting to which the public are admitted, the, the planning committee. Yes. So, in fact, an interested party could sit and listen. It mm -hmm. could, unless for any reason any part of it was taken in camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there may be an argument for doing so, because these are specific policies that have considerable commercial implications. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I suspect that that part of the meeting will end up being dealt with in camera. When you say it's only going to be the planning committee, um, I believe in an earlier meeting we resolved that from May onwards we would all be members of planning and all be members of estates to overcome this quorum problem that we had. Well, uh, except that this would be a meeting that's taking place under the current arrangements because those arrangements would actually come in at the next planning meeting which would be due. Yeah. Then the issue we have. Why, why would that be? Because the, that, this meeting on the 2nd of May precedes the annual town meeting which is yeah. the meeting from which the, the council, council year yeah, starts. Yeah. It that's at the right, end of okay, May the yes. Right. But it's in, it's in this year's it's in this year's agenda of meetings. List of meetings, yeah. Yeah, so yes, the, this, this is like the this last year. planning meeting within exactly. this I think the last, meeting. Probably it's the last meeting of any description yeah. of the council yes. in this yeah. council. Yes. 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 Council Rose. I just wanted to say the issue about being quiet. If we have 
uh, every single member of the council uh, on planning, it means that we have to run the quorum, you know, the quorum size up. So that's what makes life slightly difficult. Um, the advantage of the current situation is that we actually only need three people to be in planning for it to be quorum. But if we run it up to every single member of the council, then the quorum goes up. Now, I don't know what the numbers are. I don't know what the enthusiasm is of other councillors to attend these meetings. But that was always the problem. The only thing is, I think, that this uh, Labour plan is very important. It it's, our, it's our plan. So my, I, do, I do think that councillors ought to be able to involved at every stage. I have a bunch of things. And we haven't been involved at every stage. Well, far from it. Well, <coughs> yeah, I'm just saying, I agree. I'm just merely pointing out the, you know, the issue. Can we, can we just have a, a, a view from the clerk in legal terms? What, with regards to the net quora? Well, the, the, um, yes, the arrangements. And the, um, and what, what the only thing you could do is, so if, you, if you have it as a committee, you can determine the number of members and you can determine what you would want to be, for it to be quorum. If you run it as a full council meeting, um, you obviously have to run it as your quorum being a third of 14, yeah. um, which is where the five yeah. comes mm. in, which makes it then a bit more difficult. Um, but you could, if you're running it as a committee, but then you're all members of the committee, you can, can set your... It mean an amendment for standing... Yeah, you'd yeah. have to amend... Mm. Which... Mm. On the face of it, we couldn't introduce... Not immediately, June. because we'd have to put it before the full council meeting in May. Yeah. And vote on it at the full council meeting yes. in June and adopt it in July, so we'd end yes. up with yeah. the, the June and July planning meetings could raise some issues. Yeah. Well, that's just what I'm trying to Probably very result from thereafter, though. <coughs> There's nothing to stop council members coming to the meeting. That was my point. They can uh, come, but obviously they won't be able to vote mm -hmm. if you were going to vote. But if you're actually going through the draft plan and you're not voting on anything anyway, yeah, they can come along to the meeting. That was, that was coming and um, speaking. Can we do that as members of the public, effectively? Well, that's right. Yes. If I'm concerned, yes. We yes. can put the chair for it. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, and then we'll put our chair relatively immediately. Okay, fine. <laughs> but you wouldn't necessarily be voting on the plan. Yeah. No. You might be looking at it. No, no well, I think it's a basis. It seems doing? to me the best way out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. What I think we're doing, basically, as a planning committee, is, is recommending something to go to the full council. Mm. In other words, we do the, the hard yards. In fact, uh, you know, Councillor Chapel has done more than the hard yards. He's done the hard miles. Um, but what we're doing is we're doing the detail bits. And then we go to council and we say, this is what we've got. And that to me is how, how it should work. I mean, that's, that's how committees work. That's what I'm point about having, you know, individual committees. <coughs> to me. Okay. okay. Anybody happy with that arrangement? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody happy? Okay. Okay. <coughs> 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 Don't finish now. Thank you. 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 Thank um, it, basically, you send it off, they look at it, they, they assign somebody that's going to inspect it. The inspector then comes back and tells you how long it's going to take and then tells you how, long, how much it's going to take. <coughs> so, I haven't, you know, it's not in the formal process yet, um, but it's still at the stage where they're going to tell us how much it's going to be. Are we doing years or months? Okay. <laughs> Days, Let apparently. Let me... Estate matters. Right, okay. <coughs> we had an estate matter on um, Tuesday the 4th of April and um, the majority of the items are in your pack and fairly straightforward. I will just 
highlight a couple of things. Um, we had an update um, on the war, memori war memorial um, <coughs> repairs. And uh, I'd just like to say I think they have done an excellent job and are continuing to do an excellent job on renovating the, the war memorial. Fantastic. Um, um, by the way, it, it probably will go on in front of the hospital, I think. <clears throat> I mean, it's fantastic. I'm just waiting for them to take the green stuff away. Come on, take a lovely photograph of it. We need to just hear a bit more. Yeah. Sorry? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah this, this first was raised by myself in 2014, um, when I first came on to the, the Town Council. I asked the question at Estates then, whether we could get the war memorial cleaned up, thinking we were going to do it in time for <coughs> Armistice Sunday that year. Um, that was the June, I thought November gave us plenty of time to get on with it. Um, little did I know, my idea at the time, <laughs> I see Mr. Hoyle is amused by this, um, little did I know that uh, my idea of we go out with some very soft brushes and give it a, a good wash with some soapy water was, was not going to be allowed that this was in the hands of Wargraves Commission and various other people who provided grants for part payment of it and uh, various procedures had to be gone through, road closures and all sorts of other things and uh, we, uh, every year I look at the armistice um, service that we have at the War Memorial and think, you know, somebody's going to fall over on the slippery memorial steps one of these days and uh, finally we've got it done but it's taken and i said this to the legion and they thought this was quite amusing it's taken nearly as long to get the war memorial commemorating world war one cleaned as it took to fight world war one in the first place so um it's it's been a long battle but we're we're getting there and they are doing an excellent job with it so when are they taking the green stuff do you want out? to talk about why the green stuff's still up the green stuff is still up because they're they're still doing the lettering. Yeah. They've, they've done the cleaning, they've done the um, pointing up of the stones, they're now going through the lettering, um, and some of the lettering's in a very bad state. So they're, um, they're having to do quite a lot more work than they anticipated. They have actually um, come back with an additional bill for the additional work, um, which We've, um, we've approved in principle and uh, we're waiting to find out exactly how much it's going to cost to get the work finished. But they're still working on the lettering. They discovered when they got rid of all the grime that there was more lettering than they anticipated. <laughs> it goes further down the memorial onto the big steps at the bottom. Um, the 1939-45 war starts quite low down on it. And uh, that seems to be the bit that's had all the wear and tear from presumably grime from traffic going by. That's the worst bit of the lot. And some of the lettering there, the stone there is very badly corroded. And it's going to be quite a bit of a job um, replacing the stonework there and, uh, and re-lettering. Mm -hmm. Do you have an update on that? Uh, yes, well, Hanukkah's meeting with the um, company tomorrow morning um, and where they're going to really look closely and see... Um, what lettering needs to be re-carved, yeah. whether they, you know, what just needs to be painted. So, they give a more so we can get a more accurate quote. Mm -hmm. Are you asking to speak? Is there a pen I <laughs> would like to ask the Chair of Apis States, because there's two things that don't seem to have been covered in the meeting, and I just wonder where we were with them. One is the relocation of the open space maintenance team. Uh, where have we got to with the possibility of the replacement building? And the other was the extension to this building. Those two are still ongoing. There is nothing really to report at the last, um, the last meeting. Um, we've talked to the rugby club about relocating the workshops down to uh, Occupation Road on a bit of the car park belonging to the rugby club. We've spoken to them, they coincidentally wanted a new lease with us, a new longer lease so that they can spend money on their clubhouse and their um, 
facilities. So it was an amicable meeting when it was agreed that uh, we could give them a longer lease and we're giving them to bring them in line with the tennis club and the bowls club, both of whom have got a lease until 2066. We're now giving them a lease until 2066. Um, the rents down there are very, very reasonable. Again, they're amenities to the town. They have a huge number of uh, rugby players and uh, it, it's a great asset to the town. We charge them a very low rent as a consequence and uh, they have worked with us. They're very happy for us to have a small parcel of their car park to build a workshop on, a maintenance workshop. And uh, we're now looking at um, completing that lease with them and then getting on with um, getting the approval of design of the workshop and getting that moving. As regards extension to Fletton House to build um, a bigger kitchen and um, a changing room attached to the stu dance studio, um, we're now waiting to meet the architect. Um, I told Hanneke I'd like an appointment to meet with the architect so that we can go through our ideas um, and then I can put to them the the, some of the design features that we want built into it and then they can come back with a quote and then we can progress it from there. But both both projects are ongoing. Thank you for the hand in hand. Um, yes. I, I would just like to add uh, to what Councillor Spark said. Uh, the rugby club do realise that they will be paying slightly more rent when the new lease is uh, formulated. And they're very happy? Oh yeah, no, they know they're going to pay more and they're quite happy to pay more. Mm. But it won't be but still a huge amount. Oh no, it's going to be a huge amount. Yeah. They're losing a proportion of the land and still paying more rent, mm. yeah. which has got to be a benefit to uh, Albert Council. Absolutely. Um, the, the majority of the other bits on here um, are fairly, um, fairly standard stuff. Um, we are... Um, keeping an eye on the clock situation at the N&P building. Um, it was brought back from full council back to estates and we are um, in negotiation with the owners because we want to um, we want to know whether the owner A wants the clocks left on there or B whether we need to repair them whether they want to hold us to our obligations under the lease to repair. So there's ongoing negotiation there um, with the um, current owner of that building as to um, what we do with the clocks. But we're trying not to spend money if we don't have to, but we're trying to uh, not breach our lease at the same time over the clocks. Um, I think they're the, they're the, um, the main items that came up at Estates along with um, some commercially sensitive stuff on details of new leases for tenants at the courthouse. Mm. Okay, thank you. <coughs> so now we come to the point where we need to close the meeting. Do I find the gavel before I read the bit out or after? Yeah, read, the bit out. read the bit out first, then do that, then I'll turn on. Okay. Please note that in view of the special and or confidential nature of the business about to be transacted, it is advisable in the public interest that the public be temporarily excluded and they are instructed to withdraw standing order 3C. Those in favour? Most. Hello? Is there anybody out there? Yes, this is not the stuff on the scene. Are we, are we open again now? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, correspondence for action. I'll just wait for our council to come back. He's on his way. He's over it. Yeah. Can you hear the blow? We heard the blow. Right, to discuss no, correspondence no, received with Northampton. No, 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 no. Highways regarding the definitive map and rights of way improvement plan. Mm. Are you recording? I'm not. You're not recording. I am. But the chief. <laughs> I've actually got the maps as well. He says somewhere. I'm going back here. If anybody wants to have a look at the map. One thing that did occur to me, and that is that it might be worth putting that up on the display board and <coughs> town meeting. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the suggestions as and well. The suge yeah. and, and what follows, yes. Yeah, it would be a good idea. I think so. Good idea. I noticed that you haven't got a path warden. Have you, you, know, you haven't got a path warden. Years ago we used to. I don't think we have a um, But we no. haven't had one since. So I'm just going to, if you've got something to add, I'll shut the meeting a moment and let you say it. I believe David Wills still holds the post. Oh, that would be But certainly he was, whether we should today. <laughs> Thank you. You'd anyway, Because it? one of the copies of the map has got a path for them. Um, but I didn't know that we got one. So well, we could approach former council Wills, yes, ask him if he yeah, yeah, still okay. regards himself as that. Well, there's not the point to be having a meeting in May and give a copy of that. But, um, any Anybody have his contact details? Yeah, yeah, we've got David's contact details. Yeah. They'll be in the Peter somewhere yeah. in the city. Oh, well, he was a mayor. He was right. Okay. Right. David, David will almost there. Uh, David His details are in the parish church directory, which I've got a copy of. Well, okay, look there, thank you. Then I can. Um... I mean, he hasn't moved house, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, put a lot of work done. But he's right next to the courthouse. Okay, have you got more? Is there more? Is that all you want to say? Well, it, it, and basically, we've got these um, ten, ten um, rights of way, and they're asking for us to. Um, they're basically saying they haven't got enough money to look after all of them. So we've got to find the priorities, but I think what Council Chapter said is a good idea as well, to actually display it so that people can see mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. and then they can probably give their comments, perhaps mention it. Well, I'm just wondering whether we might need a formal working party from mm -hmm. well, I'm going to say, do, do you not think we ought to formulate um, our view? I mean, it's one of the things we just stick up. Thing up. But then you'd be getting the view, probably of the... You, so in other words, what well. you're doing, so at the town meeting, this is more of a, what do you think town? Yeah, and, and people can look at and, the town. And they can comment. <clears throat> okay, so we're not presenting this as a, you know, this is... No, I'm not saying this is what we're going to do. We're just going to stick it up there and say... Using it as a way to consult with... Fine, yeah. that's... That's great by me. And also, obviously, if I contact Mr Wills, and if he is still keen to be hard board, and then... He can give a bit more information on it, on what he thinks as well. And we can put this back on the agenda for the May meeting and see where we are. I think yeah. we should, yeah. That's good. <coughs> to receive information from Northamptonshire Acre regarding Historic England Neighbourhood Plan Workshop. Yes, I think I sent the information. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just wondering go. whether the events today are not just started because <laughs> that venue is yeah. used as a polling station. I think it just went west. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Might not be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think we might need to watch this space. Otherwise. It I was quite interested in the idea of going to it, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> sure it's 
Excuse me. Correspondence for information. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I don't. Uh, going back to uh, the, the uh, rights of way, uh, I'm not, obviously, as you know, fairly new to the council. I, there is no rights of way, from what I can see, in Elmwood itself. They're just all around the outskirts, aren't they? Is that correct? Looks like I've got it wrong on that. Ashton Road out or North of Hernodge. Yeah, but I mean, uh, when you look at that, it looks. Yeah, but they're like this sort of. Yeah, they're like sort of. Through, through, through the town, yeah. there's two or three yeah. that I thought went through the town. Am I wrong? I don't know. Don't I'm know. just going to ask Mr. Hoyle. Do you happen to know? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 I'm going to say they're all covered. Yeah. Because they're, because they're Wasn't there uh, uh, some time or other off, off, uh, off uh, West Street where one of the residents decided to close the right of way? Is, is that from oh, no. the right of way? No, we're not going back to him. Please, let not do. No, I'm sorry, but you know, I, I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. There is a long history with regard to Ooh, a particular well. right of Way, through Drumming Drumming Lane. Lane. way to Drummingwell Lane, yeah. which was closed off by a resident in West Street and led to the oh. most protracted series oh. of everything. Sorry, I, I didn't know. It's time. too long a story end, to tell it, in yes. one evening. In the end, uh, no, we will not, not able to no, fair enough. prevail. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. There was no runaway there. Well, there, well, there probably was a way. Uh, there, uh, okay. Sorry, no... I'm, I'm not going on with this because it's so long and it's oh, a matter of okay. people's opinions. Can I, can I ask? We, we can well, talk well, about well, it. Well, can I ask one other question? What if there was a right of I, I don't know, again, I'm only going on, you know, sort of what I've seen while I've been in Alden, not as a council, but there was uh, a, a path from uh, East Road through to uh, North Street by by 46A North Street, but that seems to have now been closed by East the, the resident. Is, is that the one that goes up through part of the school? No, 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 it, no. It's 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 it's, uh, it's there's a sort of like a I don't know what the name of that road is actually. Is it Duck Lane? Yeah. Is it Duck Lane? It's it's part of the school, isn't it? It's all, it's all part of the school then, yeah. yeah. So is that, is that still a right away or not? I, I, I would assume that what you've got is the these are the public, list. Yeah, these are the public rights. These are like street rights of way. They are your sort of walks well, where like, you have like styles a, and ah, cross right, fields, sorry. that sort of thing. That's what these, yeah. these rights yeah. of way okay. are. Fine. Yeah. Okay, no, I was just sort of getting mixed up with the two. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. I like to make shortcuts through that. Correspondence for information? I haven't received any. Yeah. Any other matters, relevant matters for a call? Shall I go around the room? Mm -hmm. I'll start with. The I have none. Um, my only, my only um, other business is. Um, we've gone back to this layout of table, which, if you happen to be on the on the ends, makes it difficult sometimes to hear what's going on. Yeah, I'll explain it. to Val because of the number of councillors tonight, it's a bit right. difficult to because having like eight people around this table, we need to have one like a small one table there, right? Then you'll have one length, so it's a bit difficult yeah, to know. Yes. When we've got a few more, we can have you know. Just make it different. Okay, on normal well, procedure would be yeah. the, the U-shaped. Mm -hmm. In this position, I couldn't hear everybody, especially when they were turning the other way yeah. and talking down the table. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I agree totally. Yeah. And uh, I just wondered whether we need to purchase, I know it sounds silly, but two half tables or something, so we've got so more you can to play with. them around a bit, yeah. Because when you've only got one there, you make this long, mm -hmm. and then you've got people further away that way, which yes. can sometimes... I know you can see, but sometimes you can't always hear. So it's, it's difficult. Well, why can't we make it L-shaped and everybody's facing each other? 
My film is just on a circular table. Sorry? A circular table. L shape. I'm just trying to work out. This table goes out next to you. Yeah. You can do that this way. I do that, but it just looks a bit. Of course it is. When we used to have our council meetings, if you think about the table, we used to literally sit around a table. Yes. Because we'd put this one there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And admittedly, You've got some to... people would have their backs to any. Well, that, yeah, that's public. the other issue, yeah. But well, that's how if we... it makes it easier for councillors to work, maybe we should even think yeah. about that as have... a layout. Absolutely. We have to change it. Or what we could have done is this table could have gone there. So mm. we're in a little bit smaller. So, like, Peter mm. and I would be sitting. There, mm. yeah, which would yeah. Make, and you would be in a bit as well, so yeah. that might have made it better. Yeah, that could have, yeah, yeah. yeah we need to. I've, I've been, well, I've said it, I said it. We need more councillors so we can mm. get more tables. And <laughs> I, I think we should go for a circular table, especially made. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, right. King Arthur, and his round table. <laughs> 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 Right, I don't have anything. Do you? No, and otherwise. Just a yeah. practical point, really. Now that we've approved the financial management risk assessment and internal control policies, could hard copies of those be made available to go into our handbook? Yes, yeah, I'll make sure you've all got copies. No, nothing.